for that. Well, when her stream came around, he then, after 20 minutes or half an hour or something, decided to raid in, because he was pretty much finished his build and wanted to see what she thought of it. And... <laughs> So Shalua's played The Sims for a long time. She's played the franchise from the beginning, from what I understand. Me. Yeah. But she's she's also been playing The Sims Four for you know since it came out or whatever. And so she knows a lot of what you know the the pitfalls, the downfalls, the like the fact, and this is what really pissed her, uh, pissed her off. Some of the kitchen counters don't have matching um, cupboards that go up higher. Mm hmm. And she was talking about this, and Sausage was going. Just do the colour thing, you know, because there's a colour swatch thing that you can click on in the toolbar when you're in the build menu. Right. And she, uh, he was telling her to go into that. Yeah, she's she's well aware of it. She's she's played the game a bit. Yeah, she, and she would told him about this, you know, at the start of her stream. Uh, at the start of his stream. During the tutorial. Mm-hmm. While she was teaching him about it. And then he turned around and did the same thing to her. Yeah. And... <sighs> Mansplain mansplaining exemplified. Uh, one of the few times you'll hear me use that word and not... You know, not rage about people using this stupid fucking term. She just taught yeah. you about it ten minutes ago, dude. How about you? How about you knock it off? I'm going to be honest, she handled it extremely well. I was sitting there lurking and was just like, I punched him in the face. Cause he ain't. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I was uh, quieter because he was the... Uh, right? The suddenly uh, expert. Exactly, Nick. <laughs> That's where I'm like, I don't understand how he has the arrogancy to say shit like that. Like, makes me want to punch him in the head. You know, I try yeah. so hard to be nice to him, but when he does shit like that, it makes me go... This is really hard. It's hard to be nice when you're being a complete dumbass. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be dumb about a thing, be dumb about a thing. If you're going to be dumb about a thing and then claim to be an expert and hand out advice, don't. Don't do that with the person who taught you how to fucking do it. Exactly. Like, it's it's not a it's not a hard equation. It's not like it's not even like you know you you come back a week later and that person that you taught how to play the game has put in forty hours. Okay, now they have now they might have a, a valid tip or a trick or something. This is a guy who's put yeah. in like what four hours, most of which you handheld well, like... for. You, you handheld them through most of those four hours or whatever. Yeah. She did so fucking well on that, though. Yeah, she always but handles she was... herself well. Oh, yeah, she's great. She's... She just she just so is so nonchalant with stuff like that and just lets it roll off her back, and it's like... I'm envious yeah. of people who can just let shit roll off their back like that and move on and, and not have it get under their skin, because... I'm, I'm not always that fortunate. There's lots of times when somebody does or says something and it's just sand in my ass for days. Yeah. I will be back in a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now I need that stick that I put in the books. Well, hell, I don't know where the soul sand went. That's not going to be helpful. What do you need soul sand for? I was relocating um, another ore farm. Ah. 
So the sand I had knocked out to bring over from the old place is no longer in my inventory. Hmm. Just a matter of where I must have placed it. Clean, expand that away. No, it's not far enough. And I mean, you could also see Shiloh getting pissed off at him. Yes. It was... Rightfully so, too. Yeah. Like, the first once or twice, you, you know, fair enough, he's trying to make a point. He's trying to help. He thinks he's helping. Like, oh, hey, I remember the thing you taught me. Maybe, you know, maybe you'll, you'll be happy to hear it. Yeah. But it wasn't the thing that... No. Not helpful. No. Alright, here's the deal. Snow, I need you to go away. I need all of you to go away, in fact. <sighs> well, another news. My great uncle died yesterday, apparently. Oh. Oh was... my. Uh, he's been I, I mean I'm not that close to him and he's been he, he was in hospice before the weekend so okay so it's not terribly surprising no it's still too bad yeah the, the sad thing is that he's my grandmother's younger brother and my grandmother's still alive so he probably didn't take care of himself as well as her, though? No, I don't think it was that so much as, um... Mickey sends us condolences, by the way. Thanks, Mickey. Um, he had... I it, was, it was something like a stroke or something. Oh, yeah, that, that shit can happen details. anytime, anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't a... Uh, I don't think it was a stroke that actually took him yesterday, but he'd had various, you know, health issues that, that aren't so much taking, whether you take care of yourself or not, is... Yeah, it's less important. Yeah. Oh, it still sucks. It does. Means my grandmother's going to be. Who's going to be? Um, I don't know what it's in English, while. but hokondalir. I think it's something like condolences in English. You got it. Yes. You are better with English than oh, you give yourself you. credit for, by the way. Yes, you you're, are. You're better with English than people who speak it as a first language in some cases. You surpassed my wife. <laughs> I thought she spoke French. And German. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you. I feel like I'm missing out on a joke. Were you not here when we convinced Booty that Chibbles' wife spoke German and French, but not English? Chibbles spoke English, but not German and French. And Zook, okay. Chibbles' wife's brother spoke mostly English and a little bit of French, and so he did most of the translating so that they could talk to each other and stuff. But he doesn't live nearby or anything? Yeah, so they don't really talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't saying And then, and then Booty, and then, like, later that morning, Booty was explaining to her mom about this whole situation, and I, I just fucking came on food. I was, I was in tears, and I thought I was going to pee myself laughing because I, I couldn't keep it together. No, I wasn't here. Oh, I'm God. pissed I wasn't. I wish I knew what day it was that we that we convinced her of that, because... Oh, yeah, it was hilarious. Oh, that would have been a highlight. I it was have... one thing to convince her of it, right? Well, but then send, to it, her... send it back to Twitch as a video when you do your... when you discover it doing Facebook. I don't always listen to all of the videos when I'm doing Facebook. I'll usually skim through and look for uh, problem spots, interruptions, uh, AFKs, that kind of thing. So I might I might have already passed it and missed it. I don't know. 
Okay. It was one thing to convince her. It was listening to her explain it to her mom was the hard to keep a straight face. That was when I knew like we had absolutely sold it to her hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> or as my brother used to always say, head shaft and balls. I'm like, yep. Yep, that's wow. uh, that's one of those situations where you absolutely sold them on the fucking Kool-Aid. They're drinking the Kool-Aid. And I had nothing to do with it. It was Zook and uh, Digital. Yeah. No, I'm not proud to say that I was involved in that, but I am proud to say it was it was funny. You didn't start it. It was Zook. You just confirmed. I couldn't. I I couldn't keep out of it once he once once she once she appeared to buy the bridge. I, I piled on and told her what you know, just how much traffic that bridge could carry. <laughs> I don't know. Afterwards, I felt like an asshole for it, but at the time, it was hilarious. <laughs> I've got to find that video. Yeah, exactly. When when you know when a joke that that ridiculous is is bought, like when someone buys that, you gotta go along with it. It's I owe it. I owe it to Zook. I mean, we've been friends a long time. He's gone along with all sorts of goofy shit I've pulled. Okay, her mom. We could probably do this pretty easy. What time would her mom get up? It was roughly five o'clock ish for us. Yeah, because it was Somewhere. just before. It was a bit. It was a just. Before, I'd often. Once I knew that you know, there was a, such a thing as Booty Mama coming on stream, it was sort of just before I went to bed. So I'd... Stay awake longer? Often, yeah. I'd often wait for Booty Mama to... Make it to hear the interaction, yeah. Yeah, because it... I mean, she was funny. it was too good to... Yeah, it was too good not to miss. Or to miss, so... Yeah, if you can figure out the time in the videos themselves, or if you have them time stamped for, they're all. I got a lot of videos work. They're yeah, all, so you yeah. should. Yeah, so it, it it was roughly ten p.m. for me, which is roughly five a.m. for you, I believe. Yeah, I was thinking it was around five a.m. because it was it was usually it was usually during that quiet hour before shit hits the fan at the end of my shift. So that would put it like 5 to 5.30, 5 to 6, something in there. Right. I fixed all I, the fire Don't out. get me wrong, I don't miss all the booty issues, but I miss just having, you know, the, the fun booty around. Well, that's what I was saying to Chibbles the other day, like going through and listening to the, was it Chibbles? Oh, it might have been Wolf, actually. Um, yeah. oh, I was there too. Go, oh, you you were both there. Okay, going through and listening to the the videos from like late March when she was still her usual happy self, and she was a lot of fun to have around and tease and joke with and that. It's like it's kind of hard going through those videos because it's like what happened to that person? She's not she's not that person anymore. She, you know, she changed. Hmm. Team so. team for us, Mickey. Yeah, I wonder how long, how far back was that? We're June 1st. I would say middle March. Maybe around the 13th. If you think it's that far back, those ones are already up on Facebook. Well, she's been gone for two weeks from the from Discord, roughly. She left the Discord? She hasn't it, been well, in Discord for a yeah. couple of weeks. It might be actually more like three. Wolf had tried to when talk, was talk to her and say, like, hey, you know, this this negativity can't can't persist. We can't we yeah. can't all deal with this all the time. And so yeah, check your about... check your DMs because you sent her a message, right? So yeah, you know what? I'll check my DMs and see how far back it was that... Actually, you sent me the message, too. I could look there, too. Yeah, I think I was on all stream just before that happened, and then just after that happened. I had 
meal in between. Uh, May 8th, so uh, three weeks, actually. That's about a month ago. Okay, yeah. then we're yeah. looking end of April, then, for when it probably happened. Yeah, if it was... if. If it was three weeks ago, see that's the funny thing with this Minecraft server. You and uh, sometimes Wolf will say like, "Oh, I think that was just this long ago," and I'm like, "No, I think you're underestimating how long the server's been up and running." And then we'll we'll actually find a date on something, and it's it's kind of deceptive. Like the the time is the time has flown by, and you don't know where the hell it's gone. But yeah, if she's been gone three weeks, then it might have been. Might have been early April that that happened. Yeah, if you're thinking I'm not going far enough back, then maybe mid early ish. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking it was probably early April, and it won't be too hard. It won't be too hard to try to find it. Just you know, there's only going to be one recording a day that covers that time, or at most two. Put that over there. Today's caffeine delivery was brought to me via a Tim Hortons. So now I have Tim bits to eat. Mm. I don't understand what Tim bits are. I've had, people have tried to explain them to me, but you know how they make a donut and it's a circle with a hole in the middle. Yeah. The piece that they pull out of the middle, they throw in the other deep fryer, and it makes a Tim bit. Or so Robin's. Try. Or a Robin's egg. It's basically because we had two donut chains here: Robin's Donuts and Tim Hortons. There's and they still each, a single Robin's. They each, yeah, we no longer have a chain though. Is my point? It's it dried up, um, and we had the two different names for it. Robin's called it Robin's eggs. Tim's calls it Tim bits. And they're just little one-inch spheres of donut stuff. Uh, the one I just ate was strawberry filled, so they still actually go to the trouble of treating it like the the donut it came from, which is awesome because they yeah. make them cream filled with so chocolate topping. Uh, yeah, uh, the ones two of the ones I've got here have strawberry jam in them. I didn't realize you liked the coffee. The coffee, not at all. Oh. Well, how do you get? What are you getting that's got caffeine in it from, uh, Tim? Nothing. I, I get a I get a Coke from McDonald's, and Tim Hortons is you could throw a rock and hit the hit one from the uh, other. Yeah, that's true. So she went to she went to get a Tim's coffee, grabbed Tim bits, and brought me the results of said uh, or the survivors of said trip. It was definitely not a brand new box. I'll tell you that. Well, no, it's just the way you had said it is the, the caffeine today is supplied by Tim's. So. No, it came via Tim's. McDonald's is closer, uh, but she went to McDonald's, grabbed my Coke, went to Tim's, grabbed her coffee, and then came back. Sometimes she doesn't feel like making two stops, so she'll just she'll get a McDonald's coffee and skip getting her Tim's. So did you notice they haven't started the dollar days? I know, I've been fucking waiting for them to start that and... I don't know if they're going to do it this year because of all that's gone on. They better. I mean, give them shit if they don't. Because at Dollar a dollar, days? at a yeah, normally they by like May twenty third or so, they start. It's supposed to be May long to September long. Yeah, they usually start this this thing called Dollar Drink Days, where they sell all other sizes of soft drinks for a buck instead of the usual like three and a quarter that they charge for the the large and. Whatever they charge the for McDonald's the, drinks are stupidly McDonald's. priced after the fact. Yeah, they're they're well overpriced every day of the week. And then so they started doing this dollar drink days thing, and they would do that through the summertime. And so yeah. all the drinks are a buck. Um, but they do the dollar drink days twenty four seven all year round in the states. Most yeah. of the, most of the time in most of the states, the drinks are always a buck. Um, and yeah. so that's when they, they decided, okay, well, we could probably float this up here, but they only do it, they only do it for half the year. And so that's dollar drink days, but normally it starts by now. We're two weeks late starting. And I mean, 
their cost on one of those fountain drinks is in the neighborhood of about 13 cents. Mm. So for them to do the dollar drink days, they're not even losing money. All they're doing is making slightly less money. So I don't think it's a cost thing. No, I think it's. I think it was intent, entirely done as a way to increase business and. You know, Not what I meant, but I meant because of the fact of so many people coming through the drive-through to get the drinks. You'd be spreading if someone had it at the restaurant that didn't know. You'd be spreading the the disease or whatever. Oh, you you, th here. you think that's their? No, I I very much don't think that's their rationale for it. I don't think they're. They're that invested in public health. I think they're very invested in the fact that they're making a hell of a lot less money with people not being able to go into the restaurant. And so as a way to shore up their, their income against this, they're going to kibosh dollar drink days because, you know, the, the drink costs them like uh, 13 or 17 cents, including the cost of the cup. So if they sell it for a buck, it's a profit. If they sell it for three bucks, it's a hell of a lot of profit. Mm. So you guys oh. get a full drink for two and a half dollars. We get a a large drink is three twenty five, and I don't I don't remember what the medium is. It's like two forty or something. What was that? This. But yeah, they've uh, regularly been doing the, the cheap oh, drinks, and did you sneeze? <laughs> I think she got frustrated. I just hit a creeper. So that was a fuck off to the creeper, because I knew he was coming over to explode on me. No, and I nicely... no, 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 no. He was coming to inspect your your handiwork. Ah. Uh... Then how come he keeps blowing it up? Uh, he because it's not good enough. He's he knows he can do better. He gets so excited he just can't contain himself. It's oh my god! Have you seen the craftsmanship? Either way, I don't like him doing that. So it's not his fault. He gets excited and suffers from premature detonation. I hear it happens to Yikes. a lot of guys. <laughs> You just made it into a, a thing that it should not have been. Oh, that's digital for you, though. Well, welcome to the channel. Are you new here? <laughs> no, I'm just not used to it yet. Give it a, I've, I've been... How long, digital, how long have I watched you? I'm still not used to it. I would say close to four oh. months. Uh, you came in with the, the Mindustry when I started playing that in, I think, February? It was late January or early February that uh, you got me interested in that. And I think you had oh, been... Oh yeah, you were playing Factorio. Yeah, I think you had been in my in my stream just a little bit uh, before you, you got me into Mindustry. Uh, one day. Good time. Yeah, we've had three refills at Mecca's and... I think, um... What? BK2. At what? No, uh, Burger King. The first place was called Macca's. Macca's. McDonald's. Oh. Why did you just call it... Ma because they're from yes. New Zealand and they say things different. Because that makes them feel no, really uh, special. Macca's means something else where I come from, so... Sorry. Like, it's, it's understandable. Something rude? No, it's not something rude. It's pornographic. Just not everything has, has to be. <laughs> Jesus, Chabby, brazen. He's a he's a young innocent boy. Don't be like that. Yes, How well else did you learn? Um, preferably without graphic diagrams and tear-soaked air mattresses. You can learn a lot on a tear soaked air mattress. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mickey, no! <laughs> 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 mm. 
I think I managed to really scare um, <laughs> Reese when he found out that I <laughs> read some porn. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> was it tentacle porn? Because I could understand how that would be intimidating to a man of his um, non-stature. No, <laughs> non-stature. No. Yeah, the road looks good from at night. It looks really good. I love the the green. I think of the four, I'm I'm glad the green one is the one that I ended up nearby. Are you three of you able to AFK for a minute? Oh shit, my bad. No problem. <clears throat> oh, those are some yummy yummies. <laughs> what? Oh, you said Mickey no, so I went and I read the chat. <laughs> Please be pornographic. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't be like that. <laughs> yeah, but if Thanks. they're doing if they're doing something, I don't want to AFK them in the middle of a thing and screw up what they're doing. Did it work? Oh yeah, it's daytime. Thank you. Figured it was a good enough time to go read the chat. So. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh, Mickey. That's good. I neither condone nor endorse this behavior. You know what those big words mean? Shit. Hell yeah, baby. You don't buy $5 words without reading them first. Yeah. Do you need a definition? Me? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just because I participate in the behavior doesn't mean I condemn it. You don't condemn it either. No, that'd be kind of hypocritical. <laughs> a little bit. And if there's one thing I try not to be, it's that. Because, you know, nobody likes that. Yeah, that has standards. <laughs> Digital has standards? I do. Thank you very much. I thank you very much to not snort derisively at the concept of me having standards. <laughs> Turn her <laughs> nose up at you. I can't help it. The, just the idea How that digital you. has standards. Is... How dare you? How dare you impugn my character thusly? I'm not impugning your character. You do you that abs perfectly you fine. absolutely are impugning my character. You impugn your own character fine. Only when nobody's looking. Wait, impugn and means what I think it means, right? Impugn means what I think it means, right? Is it pornographic? Is it pornographic? <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. Fucking <laughs> <What a> Mickey. <laughs> One more outburst like that from you, Mickey, and I'm going to have to go to the bathroom because, uh, well, I've been drinking a lot of caffeine and my water is empty, if you know what I mean. All right, so I need... Where would I have stuck that stupid... Oh. Yeah, it's the thing that's stupid because you can't remember something. Yes. I, love how these I double thought standards Shabby's were. memory was really good. You would Isn't think. That right? what I heard? That's, yeah, that was, the, that was the buzz on the street. Generally the consensus. how big this area is going to be. Well, you can hope in one hand, Mickey, and shit in the other, and guess what you'll feel first? 
God, I miss Meredith Burgess. Burgess Meredith. My cranky old bastard was hilarious in the movie. Uh, I'm getting rubber banding. I need a little bit, but... You know, that means an entirely different thing when a horse complains of it. Why would I be complaining about horses? You're not. I'm just saying, as a frame of reference, when a horse... Has a complaint about rubber banding? It means something totally different. I don't need a horse <laughs> reference at the moment. <laughs> I'm glad Wolf got that. I got it. I didn't want to admit it. I got it. Uh, why am I so good at making howls? <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. Jesus. I did it in the own shit. You, you hardly, hardly let it get out of your mouth before you realize what you said. <laughs> yeah. the, guy the guy upstairs is like, well, that was said. All right. That went through the filter. Some people don't have a filter. But you don't say. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> I never said I had a filter. A nope. very good one. Nobody's accusing you of having a filter. In fact, the very opposite. I really wish I had a filter. No, you don't. Because Can you do for the holes? Do. I'll find that. Yeah, if you if you had a filter, then you'd have to stick it in one of your holes. And I mean, you're so much better at making holes than filtering them, apparently. Now you have plenty to work with, but there's that. I mean, what in the world? Oh, I I am so <laughs> glad there was a screen delay. <laughs> Your timing is amazing. I know. My timing is impeccable because I literally, the stream delay said something about sticking things in holes and filters, and I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Coffee filters are not a thing. That Coffee filters are not contraceptives. Exactly. It does not work that way. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't work that way. Contrary oh, to the U.S. presidency. Oh, my God. Hello. I have returned. The only person who had that kind of timing reliably was Reese. Every time we'd say something wildly offensive, <laughs> specifically from his perspective, he'd bloody well turn up. And I was like, we'd say some of those things, and then wait and be like, well, where the hell's Reese? I expected him to pop in for that one. Well, thanks, Mickey. Ah, oh, that was... I, I don't think I could have done that any better if I tried, to be fair. No. <laughs> it's very hard to, yeah, it's no. very hard to fake that. No, it's no. not. We say stuff like that all the time. <laughs> really? I was going to say. Never heard you this say stuff this like channel? That, Come on now. No, I'm yeah, saying it's very hard to is. fake the whole, like, you walked in the middle of the thing. We say inappropriate shit all the time. Yeah. I mean, there's a big difference between inappropriate shit and, and just, you know, general vulgarity, like what's around, you know, like we just have been kind of a mess around here, I guess. Oh, my channel. If I had to be a general of some sort, I'd prefer to be General Malays. Fair. That's what it was on my timesheets for the longest time. Uh, you know, actually, Digital, I had been doing some research and I am like sitting here trying to justify the idea of spending money on the Adobe suite for a month to do the things that we discussed. You could do your things too, since you're streaming now. I could, but that would require me to actually have enough free time to do them all in a month. And it's pretty likely that's not going to happen. That is a tall order, granted. You could have my schedule. Yeah, do you want Wolf's schedule? A lot of spare time in that. I Well, spare time would be great. Oh, shit. Put that back. Why am I using the power tool? Give me the regular pick. Do you know what a regular tool. pick is? Yeah, it's the one that's not enchanted with friggin' power tool.
So it doesn't look like anyone's selling leather in the market or soul sand. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, I ran out. I haven't been. So leather is really expensive. Cows. I was yeah. selling. What was I selling the books at for? Um, five hundred a piece. Five hundred a piece. JMO was balking at that, and then Mushy was like, "Yeah, well, there's leather in there," and JMO was like, uh, "Like he, he he kind of relented, but it's like, yeah." It, Leather is leather is one of the more difficult things to farm, and so it's going to be expensive. So what do you need leather for? Oh, nothing important. I was just going to use it for the repair skill. <coughs> Excuse me. But if it's that hard to come by, it's not even worth wasting. I wouldn't use leather... To repair armor to boost your repair skill, honestly. No, I know. Use iron. You do the iron and wooden implements because you fish them out often enough. These things will just go into the dump box. Yeah, like if you don't want them, I'll buy them off you for cheap and stick them on armor stands. But that's that's about it. Unless unless you have just a massive amount of leather and it's no big deal. If you've got enough that are have some health on them, you can salvage them on a salvage stone and then get leather out of them to use on repairing other ones. Oh, I can convert them back. I, I guarantee I can get enough leather out doing it that way. Salvage stone yeah, is just a piece say... of a gold block, right? Yeah. I think that's how that would work. I hadn't considered that. Block. That might work. Yeah, a gold block yeah. should be salvage. Nice, okay. That's a good idea, thank you. Yeah, with enough leather I fish out and find uh, uh, the armor, that is. Yeah. You combine a couple of them to make sure they're high enough, and then boom, you got some free leather. However, I'd really like to know where I stuck that stupid soul sand. Oh, well, yeah. you'll find some more soul sand and then you'll... <clears throat> it's clearly the soul sand's fault. No, I'm now realizing it's mine and I'm okay with that. i just like to get the nether wart planted again so that I have the supply for when I have to potion. Oh, well, I can hook you up with nether wart. So can I. I can no, I have it enough of it for now. The soul sand too, probably. I, I definitely have soul sand. I was throwing it in the runic thing to mix it up and keep Same. my numbers keep my numbers happy. Yeah, I'd only need something like fifty pieces of it, so. 50 pieces of soul sand? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't find it, I'm pretty sure that's within reason. I'm 99% I'm sure I've got several stacks of it to spare. There we go. Now... I would say we leave the other thing for a night when your stream and internet connection are going to be more cooperative. Right. <laughs> yeah, what were you guys going to try and do? We were going to try and do a, do a co-op thing, but I, I don't really want his internet connection being an issue because then A, he can't stream it, and B, we can't do a co-op thing. It, it doesn't work. Well, I seem to be able to play just fine. Yeah, but you won't be able to stream it if your if your connection's gonna act stupid again. When is the when is the tech supposed to come out? Uh, eight to ten hours from now. Okay. Because we could always we could always test it test it out tomorrow night, see how it behaves. Um, I don't have an appointment right after work, so um, I'm not taking my daughter home at stupid early.
Does your daughter know you stream? Yep. She knows I stream and smoke and drink and rock and roll. You only smoke scars, right? That's my memory fucking me up. No, it's cigars. I can't. I can't smoke cigarettes. I get wicked sick of them. The chemicals. Sex, in drugs, them. and rock and roll, guys. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yep. Sex with strange, strange people and smoke different drugs and do all things with this stuff. <laughs> No, I can't smoke. I can't smoke cig cigarettes. I often settled for them when I was out drinking and decided, whatever. That's, I want to fucking smoke. And yeah. I always, um, my throat's starting to bug me. About it. Like it always, it always fucking ends badly. Yeah. Which is fun because you know when I was younger, my mom used to smoke, and in, she absolutely didn't believe in things like allergies. So it was like, oh, just Aww. quit fussing. You're just you're just making a fuss, blah blah blah, this kind of thing. I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna roll the window down and breathe from outside, even though it's minus fucking thirty, and we're doing hundred kilometers now. We're on the highway. Uh, yeah. I would rather that than cigarette smoke because at least that I can breathe. So a leather helmet just gave me two leather. So yeah, this is gonna be a great way of doing this. Was it fully topped up, or was it in somewhat yeah. damaged? It was fully topped up. Okay, so you get topping half. these topping these things up is not hard because I get sets and sets of them that are like mm -hmm. half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case, but my curiosity was, did it have to be topped up, or did you get that from one that say had half durability or three? Let quarters? me do the full ones first, and then I'll try that on the other ones. I'm willing to wager half is what you'll get from a full one rounded down and then it's just going to go from there so at like a quarter you might get one piece of leather okay let's get that side done let's get that side done <laughs> Stone blocks. Stone blocks. Doesn't seem consistent because I did two different sets of boots. One gave me two, one gave me one. So. I think so it's dependent on how much durability it has left. They were both fully uh, repaired up, were they? Yes, they were. So there, there might be a bit of variability. It might be a, you know, a single piece of leather and based on the durability, a chance at a second piece. Now, at this rate, I'm almost might be able to put it on the market and sell it. <laughs> Didn't know what I was going to do with that full chest of uh, leather armor I get. What was the leather going for in your shop, Wolf? Mm, I think. I think I had it at like 40 maybe. I don't That's it? No, yeah, it's no wonder you ran out. Oh yeah, I went in the shop the shop there and snagged all of it. I'm not surprised. It, that's a very, very reasonable price for how much of a pain it is to actually gather. Yeah, I wanna say it was in there for less than uh, an iron. I came down here to get something. Probably wheat seeds, if I remember correctly. Oh, and light. I need light. You need light? Why do you need light? Because I don't want the area outside the stables to be dark as midnight. All right. Did you say, were you joking before when you said your barn as well was hit by lightning? No, I said my barn had caught fire. I built a, a monster prevention obelisk, and it involves setting it on fire, and stupidly I had it too close to my barn, so it caught my barn on fire. Oh, okay. 
Luckily, I only burned part of my barn because much of it is sandstone. So it was pretty minimal damage to repair. There we go. Do a little stain in other bricks. And then you want to turn colors? Come on. Where did... There we go. Oh... Uh... Okay, that all works. <clears throat> now I've got lanterns in here. I don't want this torch here anymore. Concerned otherwise. What's the matter, Mushy? Uh, I'm um, trying to place a hopper mine cart in the block and, and the other hopper, hopper, mine, hopper mine. Just pushing it out. So. I had to result, uh, resort to placing a block, a solid block, in between because they kept they kept wiggling even though I had a a block of space. They kept wiggling and screwing it up. And so they'd, they'd move out from under where they were supposed to be. I can't help with that. <laughs> and I can't turn mm. chiseled back into regular. I can't turn cut into regular. Hmm. Looks like I gotta go get more sandstone. Do you want to swap a few stacks of uh, sandstone for the soul sand? It's a good thing. Sure, that'll work. This can... Soul sand. How much soul sand did you want? A stack would do. One stack? Okay. Are you at the place I need to meet you? Give me a second. I'm finding it. Okay. While you're doing that, I am going to put the refill my water and let the last one back into the wild. <laughs> 